day to be great. And by great, I mean great at finding cool things out here. It's a very interesting weather this time of the evening. Currently it's 59 degrees, and I bet in an hour it's going to be 70 degrees, and in two or three hours it's supposed to be 90 degrees. Well, so we're starting off the video, maybe a little bit of a shaky video where the camera's not focused because, well, the sun's not completely up, but we're starting off the video with some fans. I did spend some time taking apart of those yesterday. So those are ready to be taken as clean aluminum off the top of my head. I might have found those in my last video, but I have no idea. I've done so much in the last 48 hours. But we're starting off the day with some fans. Those doors are now considered clean aluminum, but you're getting paid a little bit more money. And since they're pretty heavy, I decided I needed to do that. But let's see what happens today. And hopefully find some cool things out here on trash day let's do it is that what i think it is i think that's what i think it is oh don't tell me it's completely busted oh, it looks like they're having a yard sale there i don't know what's going on here I don't think that's going to work. That sucks. It looks really weird like this kind of... It's broken there too. This whole arm is broken. It's weird how these pop out almost like this bead or something. Something's screwed up there. I can see zip ties all in there it looks like. But something ain't right here. Like this should not pop out. Well, that went from being worth like a couple hundred, probably being worth nothing. It's also on an angle, it's like slanted. Yeah, doesn't look like it's in good shape. I've not sold the other two that I found. <coughs> they look another thing. Um, but I still imagine I can get a decent amount of money for them. I haven't done anything with them, to be honest. Well, tough day to be a tough day. I go from finding a very nice couple hundred dollar chair to like a dollar and scrap fan. Can't win. I usually hate this walk because it feels like it's down or it feels like it's uphill both ways because the downhill is just so downhill it's it is what it is anyway I'm making a little walk here I'm going to teleport over there and then probably decide that this thing is probably broken and uh, no it looks like it's all right Oh, that's broken. We probably could glue it together, but I mean, glue really wouldn't, it would hold it for decoration purposes, but. Maybe not, uh, maybe not to let like a, a child sit in it. So I don't think I'd really want to sell it. So I drove up the block. Wow, that was a pretty big loop I just did there. I should have just went straight, but I wanted to see if that truck was going to hit me. 
it's kind of like you want to see the truck hit you rather than just get hit by the truck. What do we got in here? Ooh, that's been broken pretty good. Oh, we have a chair up here. Is this metal? Looks like that to me. I did a, a loop around the box. A loop, loop around the box. Make sure to grab the box. I did a, a loop around the block. Sometimes I get my words jumbled up, and I think, am I the only person out there who gets their words jumbled up? And I think the power of YouTube. I usually just keep it in there just because it's like, this isn't a professional show. At the same time, if anyone out there kind of has the same issues as I do, welcome. Probably just is a normal thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, did a loop around the block to get this box. So I saw this box. I didn't know if this was a Picasso. Or a Van Gogh. This is neither. Uh, but I drove down this road because like three buildings over, or should I say three uh, stores over, is that thrift store. Time I did trash pick in this town, I used to always find something there. They used to have a huge free pile. The free pile of sign is there, but there's just no pile of stuff. So I think that uh, the whole free stuff is just it's outdated. Maybe there. Who knows? This truck is now causing issues. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, we're turning, kind of. Oh, it's an Amazon truck. Oh, wow. You know what happened there? He sideswiped the uh, the black truck on the right that was back there. I just look at it. It's, all, it's got white all over it. Wow. That's tough. Quite nice baskets. These people also used to have yard sales back when I uh, used to come to this town for community yard sale day. But I don't remember what day it was this year. And if they even had it. That's a little janky. Near Christmas. It wasn't vintage Christmas. Take the one lovely basket. Yeah, they used to have yard sales, and everything there was good, but everything was broken. So it was kind of like, where's the good stuff that's not broken? You know? Um, I don't even remember what the prices were. I, mean, I can't remember if they were really, really cheap. I don't remember. I just remember everything was, like, nice, and everything was, like, chipped or missing something. Although it's not metal, not often does someone literally put metal aside for you so always oh, said it oh it's got some weight that's probably oh, that's a that's a step that's a that's a probably 15 pounds there this thing should probably sell maybe this guy right here you know how many of these I find just everywhere Auctions, trash, and I needed one, and I still have not installed it. You know, um, I have like seven laying around. I don't know which one will work, which one will fit, and uh, I still have not even installed it. So it doesn't it doesn't take a lot of work either. All I just need is like I think a pin for it. That I don't think I have. I think I have everything else but that pin. Also, I think that, uh, that's kind of far from here. Uh, yep, no, nope. truck is over there. Still there. That was, uh, although it was, I think, the last clip. Maybe the last clip that I had. That was probably about 10 or 15 minutes ago, so it's still there.
think I, I just made that turn too. And my tires squeaked too on that turn. I wasn't going that quick. Must be something at that corner. Kind of getting worried here that I wasn't going to have enough metal for the scrapyard, and I just have to carry this over until the next video. I have quite the abundance of items in my driveway right now. Like I said, I took apart that, uh, well, I took apart those doors, but uh, I feel like I went to an auction recently. I did go to an auction, but even, even before that, I went to an auction, and I still have lots of pots and pans and odd items that need to be scrapped and sorted. This driveway is kind of a mess, but I didn't want to go back to load up because it's kind of out of the way. There's a bag of like soccer balls over there. The amount of stuff I miss just because I'm probably looking at something else. I mean, that's just like driving down the road I'm talking about. It's probably a lot. If we're being completely honest. Like, because you can only look at one side of the road at one time. I mean, you can kind of whip your head back and forth. I'll whip my head back and forth. I'll that song. Why'd that guy slow down right there? Anyway. But I probably do miss a lot of things. Hopefully nothing too great. Uh, that's another thing about YouTube is like, when I edit these videos, you realize how many things you like just call things the wrong way or or just miss things. I guess just mistakes and things you don't know you do is amplified when you record yourself. Now for the reason why I came over here. size for anything. Are you like kids? What I have heard is like people who have dogs that love to chew. It's also not really a big chewer. In fact she's never chewed on anything that's not really a toy. She uh when she was a baby, just a young one, she chewed on the brick that was in front of the fireplace. And I said what are you doing? Stop. And she's never chewed on brick ever again. Now I don't know why you would chew on brick. Like legit, like a brick, like the side of their house, brick. Like that's what she chewed on. But if you have a dog that chews, I heard uh <coughs> using a deflated soccer ball. That guy's that guy was really close for no reason. I heard using a deflated soccer ball is uh, a great toy. Where's the rest of it? Mm. So this should be aluminum. You can see how aluminum is just like a whiter color than steel. This side is like polished, so you'd like say, ah, eh, maybe somebody like, well, I wouldn't say someone, but the company maybe painted that color, but the inside you can see is definitely like kind of like a cloudy white. I don't have a screwdriver on me kind of funny because in that green bag I think I do have a screwdriver but I don't have a power drill um, I do have an extra one at home that I haven't used that I bought in like some sort of combo pack and it should be it should be inside here because the amount of times I need to use a screwdriver when I don't have one is a lot 
just, uh, I think the battery issue kind of freaks me out. Keeping a lithium ion battery inside your van, uh, I don't know. Kind of sketches me out a little. One of these houses, I don't know if it was this house, that house, or that house. Dog's not happy. One of these houses threw away a whole bunch of vintage stuff. And unfortunately, it got rained on the day before. They were like Burger King dolls from the 90s. Lots of like that 60s, 70s, like kitchenware stuff. Not the 50s, but like the 70s. This, this, it's cracked up here. No, nah, yeah, it is. I think back here it's cracked. Will it survive the trip? Who knows? I think it has a good shot. that's wrapped in a sheet or something. I don't know, it just brought back, brought back things. Don't need that. Wait, I don't know, what do you, what do you think? box that's wrapped in a sheet next to a bench. Just interesting. I, I like, it's not next to garbage. Is there even an apartment there? Oh, there is. So it could be their garbage, even though there's garbage over here. together and it's broken it's a lot of plastic for that little bit of metal if it wasn't broke I'd probably try to sell it it's also very color faded it's one of those things like everything that's been left out in the sun you know how plastic gets you sit on it one way and bam before you know it you're on the ground hate to see it happen to a kid. Sometimes that plastic stuff, leave it out too long, just better to throw it away. I see a weed whacker over there. That's a nice looking house. I see a weed whacker over there though. So somehow, some way, I get across this street. I think now's my chance. Oh, truck coming over there. Feather light. Don't think I've ever picked up a feather light. It's weed eater brand. Is that why people call these things weed eaters? I call them weed whackers. Always have, always will. But a lot of people call them weed eaters, and I'm wondering if it's based off of the brand that they call it that, or is that like what you just kind of like, hey, can I have a clean or kind of a Q-tip? I think they're like cotton swabs or something else. Kleenex, I mean, some people say kind of a tissue, but some people say, hey, kind of a Kleenex. But really, it's a tissue. I think it's Q tip is the one. Q tip is just the name of the brand. All right, finishing off today with my nutritional breakfast. Uh, Arby's is over there. I don't know. Arby's is. I don't know if there's like a money laundering scheme going on there. I have never seen anyone in at Arby's. Like in this area, no one goes to Arby's. So you'll see one car in the parking lot and that's it. Everything else has business. Chipotle's across the street, McDonald's is busy. But today is what we found, is what we found. 
Um, very happy I did find some things here towards the end of the video. I think that uh, that truck was a. Uh, <clears throat> I I know he definitely hit. I well I didn't see it so I can't really say it, but uh, he probably hit that truck and then he was also unloading at that place because uh, he was trying to. I would say parallel park and he probably screwed up and uh, hit the truck, which you know it is what it is. Got to park a little bit farther and walk a little, you know. Who am I to say, right? Park a little farther, walk walk, walk a little. Anyway, this is what we grabbed. Candlesticks. I think this is for CD racks. This is kind of cool. I think uh, this is someone did this almost like at one of those most likely at one of those Wine nights Maybe I know that was a really huge trend a couple years ago. It's amazing uh, what things go in trends like crazy trends like vaping Five years ago was like the hottest thing in the world vape shops were opening up everywhere Jewels came around wine night what else? Something definitely something else has popped in my mind. Like events that the things that you kind of just do, you partake in. Things they go in trend, it seems like. But like those wine night things were, were a huge thing where you drink wine and uh, paint. I never got into that. I don't like wine. This is cool. I don't I don't really know much about it. Um, most likely lights were fed, I think, through here. I don't think they're all missing, like uh, the caps. Did you see how there's that cap on there? But I'm not too sure about that. And uh, yeah, we got some metal, which I'll drop off here shortly. I do have a whole bag of soccer balls, and there's some volleyballs, and I think one football, but they all look like junior size. I'm not too confident with the uh, the volleyballs, what size those are, but they're good for dogs. The, uh, the interesting thing is I, I was giving all of my basketballs to basketball guy, and uh, someone came up who buys from me a lot from the flea market. And uh, we were talking, uh, saying, oh, yeah, he does art. Well, so I give it to this guy. He gives it to another guy. And so uh, she wants to give me a bunch of soccer balls. And I didn't want to awkwardly say he doesn't do soccer balls. It's just basketballs. So now I would feel really awful, like, trying to sell those. And then she comes and brings me more, thinking that I'm, like, giving it to this other guy. And then I'd be like, oh, yeah, it was, well, it's not soccer balls, but... I should have probably just told her straight up, like, yeah, no, not not soccer balls. But I didn't want to, like, hurt her feelings because she felt like she was doing me a favor by giving me a nice donation of a couple couple soccer balls. Anyway, I, I don't even know where I'm going with this, but it's been a fun, fun day. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this awesome treasure hunt. As always, thanks for coming along with me for another wonderful day. I'm going to head to the scrapyard. It's going to get warm here in a second. If you guys enjoyed the video, smack the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. And I'll catch you guys next time for our next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.